My name is Damien and welcome to the Sanctuary Cove International Boat Show. I'm here at the Jeannot stand looking at the Mary Fisher range. We're going to go right the way through the range from the 605 all the way through the 1095. So let's go down to the, the smallest one, which is the 605 down here. Watch out, Bill, get out of the way. <laughs> Trying to make some videos here. So the 605, as you see it here at the show, is $120,000. This is a fantastic little trailer boat. You can... Heaps of storage and space down here. So you've got a table will go in here, so you, you can have a few people having some... Uh, some dinner or some lunch. You've got duck boards out the back to do your fishing and you could get a bimney over here if you wanted to as a um, aftermarket accessory. Moving into the cabin bit. Oh. And one of the things you'll notice about Mary Fishers is just the amount of light that you get inside these boats. So all glass, you're all enclosed away from the elements. You have a window there so you get some breeze through. And you have a cuddy cabin down the bottom here so you, if you've got some kids they can get in out of the weather and have a little rest. And a nice little settee and a fridge at my feet. So the driving position, you've got a step up and a, a booster seat and everything you need. Garmin depth finder and um, depth finder and plotter, your Yamaha controls, and all your switches there. So, having a look out the front, you can get access around either side of the cabin here, and move on to the front for your anchor controls. So, so the 605 is a very smart little boat uh, that's super manoeuvrable. Great Yamaha on the back, and can either live in the water or probably will find most of its time on a trailer. So we're going to go over to the 695 and as you can see with the range you're basically adding a meter each time. This is the Mary Fisher 695. As you see it uh, this is $180,000 at the show. Uh, you can see it's got the roof racks and also it has the beach landing. So this 695 is powered with the Yamaha 200 and with the new electronic control so that gives you a lot more options at the helm so this one does have the helm control and the new Yamaha electronic throttle throttle control as you can see every time you move up in the Mary Fisher range you get a few more little toys so the cockpit is a little bit bigger but into this range we get a small galley so a little cooker and a sink and a fridge so once again out of the elements inside here but plenty of air for the captain and for the co-pilot. So this one has a bow thruster, which uh, nearly all the Mary Fishers, that's a pretty much a standard feature now for the Mary Fisher range is to have a bow thruster, touchscreen Garmin control and uh, the Yamaha engine control, all your switching and the booster seat. And here you've got a little settee so you can have some lunch and dinner and the seat moves backwards and forwards that table folds down to give you a very nice uh, space caddy cabin under there so you can have a someone can have a rest and get in out of the elements and also a small head with a full toilet i believe with a full toilet tucked in under the the drive position so if you go through to the very front you can see there's got the beach landing ladder and rod holder at the front there. And as always with Mary Fisher, you can walk down the side galleys to get to the bow and all your anchor controls. Okay, let's go to the seven. So moving up again from the 695, we're going to the 795 and this is the series two. Yeah, yuck. So the 795 series two, as we see it here at the show is 213,000 with the new Yamaha 250. Once again, this has got the electric control, which gives you lots more options with the steering and helm control. Landing ladder, easy walkthrough, 
and quite a nice big open space here. So you'd have your table here if you're having lunch or dinner. In the cockpit, you've got access to both sides here, so you can walk through over there. Storage under your seats. Storage everywhere in the Mary Fisher. You have to find more things to buy and put it in the storage. There can also be a bimney that comes out over here. And plenty of access, hold rails everywhere. Good size um, rail, so nice and safe. It is offset a little bit, so this side is wider, so you can move forward to the, to the bow. And all your anchor controls are up here. It's a signature of the Mary Fisher range, that big glass uh, windscreen that gives you so much light inside. And you can have a look at top, it's the anchor light and aerial control. And down the front here is all your anchor. And anchor works. Obviously hard to use the grab rail when you've got a phone in your hand. So moving inside, this boat must be newly commissioned. It hasn't got its uh, navigation pack yet. Bow thruster, all your switching and your engine control there. Once again, seating position switches, depending on if your co-pilot is wanting to look forward and move forward, hold rails, or is it time for lunch or dinner and you can uh, flick it back there. So in the galley, a sink under there, so sink under there, storage space, which is very tricky, that's a good little spot to get, you know, put some storage there or to uh, maybe some crockery, some pots and pans, cooker, more storage space, all your battery and electronics. Uh, there to battery isolate and a fridge. Once again with the new lighter cushioning and how big are we getting? So I'm six foot two and I can actually rest out. That's pretty nice. Space under here and your through to get some air. And in the 795 series two you'll have a head with sink and toilet so a very smart boat so just to compare Something that's really nice to compare is from the 795, here we have the 795. This one's the Marlin, but it is coming to be the 795 Sports. So Mary Fisher is rebranding these uh, to be the Sports series. The, the new one, when you order them, uh, will come at 276,000. The Marlin or Sports Edition with the big 250 horsepower Yamaha, and you can see what the difference is here this boat is really designed for fishing big fishing uh, table here with rod holders live bank tank and plenty of area in your cockpit here to uh, move around and catch all those fish that you need nice fish. <laughs> calm down nice feature here is a cushion so when you're fighting those fish you can really brace against it you'll notice that there is seating cushions will be underneath but there's seating so you can turn this into a you know a luxury cruiser but handrails everywhere for its main purpose of fishing and one of the things you'll notice is there's no step up around the side rail so you can chase the fish around the boat stepping up into the bow you have an Stepping up into the bow, you've got a little cushion here, but you can see it's all flat surface design so you can fight those fish. And uh, your anchor locker is under here. You could get a beach landing ladder. This one's come fairly well equipped with a spotlight, uh, 
rocket launchers, rod holders, and the classic Mary Fisher sunroof. So let's go around the other side. Probably the other really big difference is the, the windscreen is, is flat and also um, angled away. So if you get spray over the bow, it's going to fall off the windscreen and really does, if you compare it to the other Mary Fisher range, this is the signature of the, the sports. And at this 795 level, you get the, it's locked. <laughs> At the 795 level, you get the captain's door, so you've got easy access on both sides. So there's three doors into the into the cabin. All right, so let's go around into the cabin. So the 795 Sports really is designed for the fishermen to mine, but stepping into the cabin, you have a beautiful dry space that you can get out of the elements. You've got a table here, it's hard to see, but a hold rail for everyone uh, while you're underway. This boat is designed for offshore fishing, so it really can handle that weather. Helm position, bow thruster, as you'll see on all the Mary Fishers, big uh, Raymarine fish finder and chart plotter, and all your controls at easy access. Little cuddy class under, cuddy cabin under there, so you can lie down or the kids can get out of the elements and ahead which is required on those big long trips. One of the key differences with the sports edition is that windscreen. So you can see it's, it's facing away from the weather uh, in that more trawler style. And you've got, so you've got three doors into the cabin, the aft one and then a port and starboard access. So very easy to move around this boat. Moving up to, if you've watched the rudder before, the very familiar 895. So if you've watched the rudder before, and please have a look at our other videos, this is the boat that we own, the Mary Fisher 895, and it's the first in the Mary Fisher range with the twin engine setup. As seen at the show today, it's 357,000. But let's go on board. I won't spend too long, but here you've got a larger cockpit, and this all moves forward. So when you can trim the engines up and get them out of the water, you don't waste that space. So if you watch our other videos, you've seen us walk through these. This one is finished in uh, a very light palette with white curtains and uh, white seating. You've got your galley under here, storage everywhere, fridge, captain's chair, and once again, that classic Murray Fisher's adjustable port side seat for your, for your passengers. And on the captain's side, we have the new Yamaha controls. Uh, very nice. That's part of the new package you're getting of those Yamaha engines with electronic control. So there's a lot more options you've got with that um, throttle controller. The big 17 inch touchscreen Garmin, the same as we've got. Engine, engine management system. <laughs> Something that I really want on mine. So your knees don't knock the the um, switches. rocker switches here. So your knees don't knock the rocker switches. It's a little bar there, but everything in easy, easy, um, is easy access. This is the first of the Mary Fisher range with the captain's door to get in and out. And with the wider beam, you get twin sunroofs. But look at all the space and air you get in here. You really don't feel like you're inside. Once again, easy access up to the bow. This one has the beach landing ladder, so you can land on the beach, pull right up to the beach and just hop off the bow. Downstairs, the captain's suite. Just take it. And if you, ever, if you want to have a look at the options for bedding in the 895, uh, we have a very good video where Brooke goes through all the bedding options but the mid cab here and that is a full queen size bed under there. A few, a few cushions are stored there at the minute and head with a shower. So lastly from the 895 you step up 
to the biggest in the Mary Fisher range, the 1095, finished in some very smart white cowed Yamahas, twin 300s. So let's go have a look at that now. As it stands, this boat is uh, just under $520,000. Uh, it's 10 and a half meters in length, 1095, and uh, a beam of 3.37. So it is a beamy boat, there's lots of space in it. This one is set out with the very nice uh, white cowed Yamahas twin 300s and a full teak flooring. So like the 895, it's got a companion way through, uh, which is all flat and you've got the adjustable cockpit like in the rest of the Genoa range. So this seat will come forward and you can trim the engines up for storage. Very nice teak table has been fitted out in this one. And this is actually an aftermarket uh, Bimney back on this, which I quite think is very smart in the white. So yeah, nice stainless steel. This 1095 is tripped up with nearly all the toys. So moving inside, nice galley space, twin burners and a sink, and your fridge, cab fridges, and there's another fridge in the midway. Comes with the microwave and your battery controls are all here, very accessible and very easy to get to. And as with all the Mary Fishers, just look at the light that you get in here. There's so much light. I've even got, even one of these is shut. So there's so much light inside of, uh, all of the Mary Fishers, but especially the 1095. This is a big vessel, very comfortable for four to six people to sleep on this. Uh, galley table can come up and down depending on how you're traveling. And this seat, I won't do it now because it's got cushions everywhere will rock backwards as in the other ranges so you've got a forward driving position. Helm position. All right so as I said this 1095 is tricked up with everything so he's got a Garmin, twin Garmins, uh, your Yamaha uh, engine control, joystick control, fusion stereo, twin engine, all your switches, automatic trim tabs and a um, bow thruster. So you've got a bow thruster and your joystick controls. Very comfortable driving position. So sit up here and enjoy the uh, enjoy your cruise. Moving down, and this is the real difference with the 1095 is you have two mid cabs, one in under here, which is a queen size bed. So that's a big queen size bed it's got and with some air there, some more storage and then under here we have another fridge and probably a kids or to sleep in there or perhaps storage for your other stuff ahead with an with an enclosed shower head and your toilet and then into your master suite this master suite is actually in its uh, sort of driving position that bed does come forward to give you a full queen size bed and you do have air in there, there's a uh, hatch up above you. So I hope you enjoyed that look through the Mary Fisher range and including the uh, sports version over there. If you're interested in these, these all the prices as I mentioned are at the show. Get in touch with your dealer or if you're in Queensland, the really good folks at Northside Marine who are helping us out here today. I hope you enjoyed that. If you did, please like and subscribe and we'll see you soon on the rudder.